Okay, so hopefully we've agreed at this point that if you want to find the largest rectangle that can fit inside a circle, the vertices of the rectangle need to be on the circle, and the diagonals of the rectangle need to be diameters of the uh, circle. Right? So that makes sense. What I'd like to show here is why the greatest area rectangle needs to be a square if the circle is constant. Right? So what I'm going to do here is I've kind of set up a circle. I'm going to animate one of these points to go around and around and you're going to see what happens to the area of the rectangle, which you can see here, uh, as the point goes around. So I want you to pay attention to this, this is the area, and I also want you to pay attention to this, which is the ratio of AB to BC. When that ratio is 1, then we're going to have a square. We're going to have two sides that are the same. right? So pay attention to what happens to this ratio and this area. All right, Let's animate this point and see. Round and round she goes. All right, so there you go. There's your biggest area. We just passed it. We're going to pass it again fairly soon. Your biggest area, if we slow down here, biggest area is going to be 100. See? Ah, and what happened when the area is 100? Well, the ratio of the sides, here it comes. Ratio of the sides is 1. So when you have a square, you've got the biggest area, right? And you could do all kinds of proofs of this with um, algebra. But I think the easiest way to see it is just to see it with um, the magic of moving geometry, right? Uh, so here we go. I'm just going to let this run for a while. Enjoy this. I find it very hypnotic, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to go take a nap. All right. See you.